All right, in the enclosure here, we have both male and female stingray. Okay. And a female can get up to five feet wide, fully mature. Wow. While a male only gets up to two feet. Oh, not see, much look at than me. That. You see, when, yeah. I, 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 I got news for you. I got news for you. Okay. <laughs> Even though the males are small, they do make up for their sizes. Right at the back of the tail, and the male sticking out, they have two reproductive organs called claspers. So even though they're small, very effective, you know? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> right at the back of the tail sticking out. And this is the reason why they call it a stingray. Mm -hmm. It has what they call a venomous spine. Just sticking out one third of the tail. And there's only one way you can get hurt from the venomous spine, only if you step on it. Okay. See why Louis swings the tail around like this? Mm -hmm. There's no muscle control that she can get you. Mm -hmm. Or when they come up to the feet and bump in, mm -hmm. they just don't sting like that. Only if you step on it, because they leave the spine sticking out like that when they sleep. Let me make this clear. The only way stingrays can sting you is if you step on them. With the two eyes, so if you jump in and step in, it actually, it's like you step on a rusty nail. Okay. And when you feel him bump into your feet, he could scream as loud as he want to scream. Don't jump. Okay. Okay. And we, and we have, we actually, when we enter the water, we give what we call a stingray shuffle. Okay. And that shuffle is, we, we actually turn it into a dance. So you could actually shove me away into the water with the rays, okay? Okay. And I, I, I have music for it, so I actually... <laughs> <laughs> we show it. We, we, now I see if you can dance. Oh, okay. <laughs> try me out. Okay, I'll try you out. Okay. There you go. <laughs> they showed me the stingray shuffle to ensure that I didn't lift my feet. I felt pretty silly, but I didn't want to step on a ray. All the men you see in the water are called stingray wranglers. They told me to take my time and just get comfortable being near the rays first, then slowly begin by petting them. The proper way to hold a ray is to keep your hands wide and keep their heads under the water so that they can breathe. Now this isn't just a gratuitous booty shot. You see that in his hand? That squid is dinner for one lucky ray. You can see that the stinger on the right really isn't large at all. And it's on the upper portion of the tail, so it's pretty hard to get stung. I still wouldn't do that. <laughs> If you rub under the raised fins, they flap the fins in appreciation. Oh. <laughs> She's like, you're not doing it right. <laughs> this is actually the largest a male would get. This is Big Mike. He's the largest a male will grow to be. The males are very hard to hold. They maneuver much quicker than a female because they're so small. This was my favorite stingray. She and I instantly bonded. When I attempted to pet another ray, she swam back to me almost as if to say, don't you leave. After 20 minutes of swimming with the rays, I didn't want to leave. But there's so much more to see in Ocho Rios.